time actually is the time you 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 wake up is different. So this is the things that um, if let's say always you found some person is lost or anything, um, you just lend your ears to talk to them. I, I believe it's quite a good method to be make someone wake up from, yeah, from what he is supposed not or she supposed not be there. Uh, uh-huh. So this is a, I can be shared with everyone. So don't don't think actually you are very weak and you are very poor in the study, and you can't change. Actually, your destiny is in your hand. You still can be changed whatever you want, regardless of your age. Um, for like me, every year I see myself I have a different achievement in the life and also for myself. So never stop learning. This is what I want to share. That's amazing. That's amazing. All right, uh, Miss Fuji. Um, you know, yeah. everybody knows you. Everybody sees you as a very kind, loving, charming lecturer mm. in MMU, mm. right? Uh, wow. I'm just curious. I'm just curious. I'm just yes. very curious because that's my first impression on you when you were my lecturer teaching me. Yeah. Um, you know, doing assignments in MMU. I'm a student who's very cruel. I have very high expectation in assignments. So mm. whenever someone don't contribute, I don't put their name at all. And for Gabriel, yeah. he has a list of students. He blacklists from his class who he don't take for assignment groups so okay. find the right team so how do you deal with such problems assignment groups uh you mean um when uh the whenever you get a come... free rider or you know do you face that okay yeah of course uh, uh means that when student come and complain to me is it uh, uh, well, when you were a student when i will uh, when i was a student okay um Okay, usually I will be in a Gabriel side actually, uh, <laughs> whereby we have our own gang lah. Yes, usually um, we for every subject, uh, it will be the same gang ah. Uh, it's just that who will be the uh, different, different, different leader for different, different subjects. Uh, for example. Okay, uh, coming back about the, for example, like a free riders, okay, those are not never contribute to the assignments, right? Uh, during our level between student and student, nothing much we can do, uh, okay? Uh, unless we uh, uh, got uh, and maybe uh, call them to come, uh, do it together with us, for example, or maybe share some ideas, but sometimes it's very difficult uh, uh, to gain the cooperation from those kind of uh, friends. Uh. So mm-hmm. usually we will have this, uh, okay, you friend, a uh, friend, and when it comes to work, uh, so you, we will stick to those uh, who able to contribute, uh, media, uh, for example. So you choose your friends, yeah? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. important, I agree with that. I mean, uh, I... do you face students who come and complain to you? What do you do about it? Okay, yes, uh, because I do understand, uh, because I was a student before this, so I know uh, the students, those are uh, uh, one the best for their uh, assignments, but then uh, unfortunately they have this one uh, layback, uh, or ne- not say layback, is they do not really want to contribute, uh, they assuming like uh, to be a free rider. So usually what I'll do, uh, I'll ask the leader, is really, okay, what are the initiatives that you have done in order to call this person, this student, to contribute in the assignment? If let's say all the initiative have been done by the leaders or the members by showing the WhatsApp, he never replied or she didn't turn up to the meeting. So ended up, I'll give the full uh, authority to the, the leader. Okay, if you want to, um, uh, what do you call that? Sack, is it? If you want to remove, uh, this particular student from your team, that's okay. So I really uh, to call out this student. Okay, you do your own way. You do lah. Uh, if since uh. that nobody, so you show to your uh, to everyone that you can do. I uh, motivate uh, this particular student in that way, uh, mm-hmm. so that uh, you do lah. If since that, uh, but sometimes surprisingly, when this particular student when they have to do alone or when they have a small circle. Uh, uh, mm-hmm the group members are uh, mm-hmm. able to do that. Uh, that that's quite surprised uh, uh, oh interesting yes. interesting yes yes uh, all yes, right uh yes. thank you miss fuji for the okay, yes. yeah. Okay, yeah, that. um yes, mr yes. tai i want to ask you um like when you said from a cgp of one point plus to three point plus right that's like a biggest turn 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 point in your life what is your biggest motivation that pushed you towards getting that like what makes motivations you- um I think it's because of I feel like uh, I just now I mentioned I don't want to waste the time. 
which is I have been spent like two years in the Form 6, right? So if uh, I'm uh, still not really uh, put my effort in study, so that will be just gone for the two years time. And at the end, maybe I cannot go to the university I want and uh, so on. Uh, so this is things that uh, actually drive me to be more forward. Uh, oh, I see. All right, all right. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Tai, do you also face some problem with students who come and complain to you about Simon? <laughs> What's the advice? So is it, is it really the same, same question as the Miss Fuji just now? I yeah, yeah. Group assignment okay. things. Okay, um, uh, let me recall first. Even even during uh, during the online class, actually have this issue as well, which is the students are able to work together uh, for their assignments and they felt like maybe some of them is like, going to be have a tendency of free rider and so on so usually the way i will be doing is i'll be try to be more um subjective first that means i'll be checked from both sides which is i talk to the person a and person b first then only i'll be checked um whether how to solve the problem but for what i actually um try to solve the problem as mentioned just by the miss who just now i'll be asked them to do individually if let's say the person insists to be do the work individually because we can't force everyone using the same method as what we guide them to be do their work because some exactly. person is really very good in doing work uh, individually and some person they can be a very good person in assisting in a project so yeah. like like can be see some person is very good as a leader like you can see sanjay yourself you are being wow, thank you. a very good leadership for everything but some persons yeah. they not really means to be leader they like to be assist and back up so this is their role so I believe I um, we need to be more um, neutral in this situation, mm -hmm. yes, and try to provide them more solution and more options, which is not mm -hmm. going to be insist like you must be follow my way. <clears throat> so that's mm -hmm. going to be like um, not really a best way to be working for education nowadays. This all is right. my. <laughs> I agree. So all the students can actually see how much lecturers are sacrificing for you, eh? Right. So um, maybe the next question for Miss Fuji is Yes, yeah. Miss Fuji, can you can you tell us like one motto in your life, something that describes you? Uh okay, one motto in my life. Um, okay. Um I, I usually go for this one now. Um you matter. Uh you matter, be you, uh learn uh to love yourself. Okay. So this is uh my value. Uh or I holding this uh value whenever uh, I proceed my uh, work uh, when I work proceed my work activities or life for example my dear because um, um, in, in the end nobody gonna help you at, um, except you yourself so that's okay. why when uh, yes uh, no matter what you're doing for example like study or working for example your own uh, happiness your own uh, uh, freedom, peace is uh, important. Okay, so when, for example, nowadays, uh, when uh, nowadays uh, people are very busy, uh, uh, busy in their daily life. For example, like working lah, study lah. For example, right. So there are yes. uh, when we ask how are you, usually people say, oh, I'm so busy. So we're wearing the busyness badge uh, in, in as an honor. Okay, uh -huh. so telling to everyone that this is the, <laughs> we are we are doing right now. Yeah, right? yeah. Uh, but uh, sadly to say that uh, when you, uh, the busyness is actually come with the cost, which is your health, your mental well-being, for example. So uh, to, to, to reflect it back, so that's why you have to see yourself. Are you happy or not? Whatever things that you are doing right now, uh, for example. If it is uh, like jeopardizing your peace, uh, your mental peace, your health, for example, uh, so it's not worth for doing it. So that's why you need to have balance. Uh, so mm -hmm. this is what I I believe now. Okay, uh, I want to be be me. Um, me matter. My, me myself matter. And I try uh, to learn uh, love myself. So I I cannot accept anything that uh, last time I don't really care. So that's why I fall asleep in the dream, for example. Okay, uh, but then yes, able to achieve all what I want, for example. But then. Uh, is actually eating me. Uh, so I'm not the person who I am, for example, like what you say, la, like full of energetic. Um, uh, I am a quite joyful person. But last time, being in my uh, working uh, uh, corporate world that time, uh -huh. uh, I'm not me that time uh, uh, because of I very uh, go for this achievement oriented. So at one point, 
uh, it strikes me up lah. It's actually why you have to do this kind of thing if let's say you yourself not really happy on it. Uh, so at uh, that moment that I put on stop, okay, Fuji, it's time for you to rethink that. Okay, what you like, what you want to do, what is your value, for example. Yeah. So you have that inner voice to keep telling you what to do, what is wrong, what is right, right? Um, yes, yeah. Uh, and also, um, i very concerned on my feeling, actually. Kalau I feel like uh, some things that not really happy or uh, uh, different from the values that I mm -hmm, hold, mm -hmm. uh, then it, I will just stop it, lah, uh, for example. Wow. You know, like um, most mm. students nowadays, they mm. want to find temporary happiness. Mm. So they follow their friends, they're going to the wrong path, you know, partying, drinking, getting wasted. What is your advice to these students in finding themselves back? How can okay. they make a uh, Okay, my dear, that, that, that's uh, that's why you need to have this balance, actually. Yes, uh, you need this all. I, I not say that it is wrong because you need the happiness uh, in order to, for you to uh, overcome your stress, okay, to move uh, forward, for example. But then you need to balance it with what are the things that contribute uh, to to you, to the people, okay, what is your achievement, for example. So you cannot only look at, at this uh, uh, partying or uh, what are the things that make you happy without anything that contribute. Uh, to, the, to you and to others, for example. Uh, okay, that's why you need to have balance. So that uh, you can win-win these two, okay? Your goal, your target, for example, your studies, okay, your work goals. Yeah, this one will come with the package, the stress, the workload and everything. But at the same time, you have to balance it with the things that you like. Uh, then only you can, uh, what do you call? Uh, have a happy life. A happy life, yes, exactly, my dear. I that's agree. My, my, my opinion on it. Lah. Okay, that's amazing. Thank you, Miss Fuji. Thank Stein, you. Move on to you. Mm -hmm. uh, what about your biggest <laughs> motto? What is any quotes that you want to share? Because we know you're a man of quotes where you share a lot of things in your Instagram, in your Facebook. <laughs> because I read a lot of them. And they're very, no, very... Now no, actually, yeah. I try to scroll, scroll through my profile. What actually I shared before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do background checks. <laughs> uh, because it's too many. Yeah, it's too many. I, I, I love to share quotes actually and try to um, insert some of my own input and opinions on the court with my own experience. But um, if let's say want to make it as short, uh, short and summary, uh, we just try to um, tell uh, about the YOLO. I believe everyone has understand what is YOLO, right? The um, Y-O-L-O, -O, you only live once. But I thought of quite many of the people uh, misunderstood what actually is the meaning of the YOLO here, <laughs> which is they are, they are making yeah. the way of, they try to only um, look at their own uh, benefits their own self-interest. So um, for me, it's not wrong if let's say you are care on yourself. But if let's say um, you have to know as a human, we have come with a lot of the responsibility. So if you want to be care on yourself, you want to be uh, live your own life, it's fine, it's fine. Like let's say for myself, I'm really care on, you need to be just live your life because you only live once, right? So yeah. you need to get a try for everything you want and you have to be stay curious and learn everything as you can. So, but my own opinion is, before you do all this thing, you need to make sure that um, you have to fulfill your own responsibility in a different life mm -hmm. and also different stage of your life. Like when you are as a teenager, um, you are age of 18, age to 22 or 23, you are in the age of pursuing your study. So before you mm -hmm. live your own life, you need to be settled down and also try to complete what actually you need to be do first in that mm -hmm. stage of life. And when you are go to the adulthood and you need to be work and everything is still going on, so you still need to be fulfill auto responsibility. And mm -hmm. only you can be go to the point which is you are living your own life. So this is what um, my motto of life. That means uh, uh, try to compromise with the things I want to achieve uh, before mm -hmm. of any. Um, All right. So, uh, Mr. Tai, you know, so yeah. I think this is my summary. A, a lot of things to be shared. So ask them to chat. In my yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, that's a very brief statement. You know, all the girls are gonna text you after this. <laughs> all right, um, Mr. Tai, maybe you can uh tell us about you know, as a teenager in your life, uh, going to colleges, there's a lot of problems like social problems, a lot of seduction that is going to uh mm. take you away from your actual path. You know, like friends or going somewhere, doing something which is not healthy. How do you deal with them? You mean for myself? Yeah, for yourself. How do you deal with those problems? 
if let's say um you are mentioned for myself i believe everyone go grow from the pen that means if they experience once before then um they know is something not right then they'll be stopped so um for what i think definitely we know something is not right you shouldn't go am i right but if let's say you are in a group of friends i believe there will be still a lot of the others influences in your circles so what you need to do is you need to make sure that you know um something if let's say it's not your interest you have to be really um there to say no so yeah. i believe most of the people is been dominated by the um major trends in the social media now like everyone is saying that this is something is very good so they will be just follow the trend so uh. i think actually um most of the teenagers now they have to be have this mindset which is you have to have your own on um opinion you shouldn't be just only follow the trend because trend can be created by yourself also am i right yeah am i right again am i right <laughs> yeah and like trend <laughs> i didn't know myself had to stop this but i still repeat again yeah that's amazing that's awesome. uh, yeah. so 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 this is my my opinion it can be created your own trend you know it to be just be a blind flow follower it is a very good that's a very good quote do you think Like don't follow yeah, the trend, create your own. Yeah, wow! Wow, oh, nice. Okay, quote my name. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> We will nice. do a post on that. Don't worry. Okay. So, Miss Fuji, uh, yes, this yes. is one of the most common question I believe that someone is going to ask you. Miss, okay. what would be lecturer? Aha! Uh-huh. Why would be <laughs> yeah. lecturer? What would be lecturer? So, what's your what's your response to that? Why? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I also never thought that I will be a lecturer. Actually, uh, uh, once I uh, okay. Um, how to say? Oh, uh, how to put on on it? Eh. Okay. First of all, ah, uh, again, I will come back to the things that make you happy, the values that you hold. So I believe that ah, uh, in order to search um yourself, okay, you have to really understand what you want. Okay. Ah, uh, allow me to quote. I think ah, uh, somebody got mentioned. I think Lauzer from Tauzer. the founder eh he said that um search your heart then the way will come later okay mm. so it seems is that you have to know what you want okay then thank god okay i able okay during my my first job is corporate work by my dear so i work in penang in my hometown okay uh good job uh near to my hometown near to my loved one and so on but then uh, i couldn't find my happiness there um in term, because uh, when you work Part of your life go there for the working uh, this one, but I couldn't find any any um, happiness there. So then I I search search for it now uh, because uh, I found out that I when happy when I uh, share with others uh, sharing um, anything like for example like sharing the thought sharing the experience for example. Last time I work in the HR department. Okay, HR okay. is that you have to uh, deal with the a lot of tnc so for example we got to know for some if whether the person got a bonus or not the contract uh, renew or not okay so when you are in a hr department so we have to be have certain barriers which is we cannot share everything lah for example uh-huh. so the, the the you have a circle of friends but these friends is usually they not really happy on us okay so that kind of that, uh, uh, environment which is not really make me happy uh, so uh, happen to be uh this uh lecturing job okay or teacher's job uh match with values which is uh, i love to share i love to nurture uh people so this is kind of like a satisfaction when you see people who close to you uh they are doing well in terms of for example like not only academic and also in their life they they are happy they they uh, come back to us um uh, share their feelings uh appreciate us they not feel that like alama i see miss fuji or i see fuji uh, i want to sabot lari for example okay uh, so uh, this uh, this kind of uh, things that i appreciate my dear uh, so like yeah. uh, share the love okay uh, experience a uh, uh, support uh, so, uh, the the job is uh, actually really matching uh, with the 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 yeah, it's that it's I, uh, love, have it. you know <laughs> So right, that's right. that's the reason, ah, dear. Ah, uh, passion, ah, uh, his passion also. Passion. That's why you're doing mm. a great job changing students' life. Thank you, Miss Fuji. Oh, that that's so. I'm uh, blessed to hear that, ah, uh, my dear. Thank you very much, Mister Lee. Yeah, you are. Yeah. 
even you changed my life as well as my lecturer. So I was like oh. very thankful for you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, dear. Thank you, dear. Thank you. It's right. really tough to do that. Okay, thank you. Okay, we move to Mr. <laughs> Tai. Sir, what is your response? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you mean why I want to be a lecturer, is it? Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, curious. Um, my first job actually is also a lecturer. I mean, I uh, went back to 2011. So um, I'm be a lecturer in Stanford College, but it's only like um, one year. It's exactly one year. So um, after I worked for one year, I switched to banking industry for almost three years. So there are many people actually question me why you are going to be switched from education line to banking industry. So are you really like you're not interested to be teach anymore and so on? So this is not the things actually thing in my mind back to the last few years. So the reason I quit from the in education life, first thing is because when I'm like in the age of 23 or 24, um, I found it's very hard to be uh, share my value and also the things I know, the knowledge to the students because I found it seems like not really convincing because with the age and also with the working experience and so on. So this is the reason why I drive myself to be joined in the industry, which is banking industry, to be learn everything I can be know about the finance, the operations, and so on. And after three years, I'm back to the um, MU again, which uh, which is education line again. And then I continue with my teaching journey. So oh. if you ask me why I want to be a teacher, if I tell you I want to make a difference on the student life, I don't think you have to believe, right? <laughs> no, we do. Why not? Right? Always <laughs> time is the time. <laughs> Because oh, yeah. we're not going to be things, uh, to be honest, not going to be a thing in my mind on last few years. But it's going to be some things coming to my mind from the years and years and when I'm teaching. You can be see the student is really changed because of you. Mm -hmm. Then you uh -huh. realize that how powerful is your words and also mm -hmm. is your actions can be influenced to the student in a good way. Mm -hmm. and uh -huh. That means you can be really change their uh, mind which is how actually they should think, they should act, and also they should do for their work. So uh -huh. this is the mindset which has come to me uh, and imprint my mind from years to years. And at first, um, to be honest, when I back to the young age, secondary school or primary school, uh -huh. Uh -huh. The, the, um, the ambition I write in the paper is really I want to be a teacher. But no. I have no idea why I write as teacher. I, I have I forgotten the, the things, but just just right when I'm finishing my master's in last 10 years, then the first job I get is a uh, lecturer. So ah. I believe everything is like, it's happened, it's, it's, it's just happened in that way. And ah. it's right <laughs> I see. Okay, yes. uh, Ms. Tai, uh, being a lecturer who is very young, so I believe that we all have the same no, no circle. Longer. Last time is very young, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Okay. No, no I mean, I could be young. I mean, like it's not like it's not that old, right? <laughs> Are we? I think Mister Mister is older, right? No, no, no. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> don't step in your face. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, maybe. We can talk about, you know, a lot of graduates, fresh graduates are going to look for a job maybe in like mm. next year or end of this year. What is your advice on them? How can they stand out in the market as a fresh graduate? Um, for the market nowadays, right? I believe you understand that um, the market out there is getting tougher and tougher, isn't it? Mm. And you can be read a lot okay. of the articles and also news is mentioned that um, a lot of the job are going to be um, disappeared. Maybe just only two years time. Last time, maybe they say it's ten years time the job can be disappeared. But because of the pandemic, it could be maybe in one year time and two year times can be disappeared. So one of the things I can be remind and also no, I cannot be said advice. Maybe remind students or okay. advice to students that you need to be learn how to be multitasking. This is the things uh, very important thing last ten years or last twenty years, and now is even something like very crucial for everyone. You cannot be only like you have one skill and be expert, yet it's good you are expert on that industry, on that field. But you never know what actually is the job is required to be do. Like let's say for now, uh, been asked to be teach online at home. And many of the other people also been asked to be work from home. So, uh -huh. so for us, maybe it's okay because we are using computer to work all the time, right? But for the other uh -huh. job, let's say you see like for engineer, for other job, maybe they are not really uh, used to be work from home for so many things. But... At the time, they need to be forced to be work from home. So the transitions, how you're going to be handle it, you need to be always ask you yourself. 
like always learn the new things and always be ready for any uh, volatility and also changes in the life. So for the youngster nowadays, have to be very firm. I think need to be firm yeah. and also need to be very um, versatile and also like be flexible. I think this is all the things uh, they should get ready. All yeah, right, all right. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay thank you mr Tai, for the advice so i, ha I hope yeah. everyone watching this can take note on this important point um we can move to miss fuji yeah. um miss fuji we all know that uh based on some books that i read i know that motivation comes from either a pleasure of having a good future pleasure of having a big house or a good job or can mm -hmm. come from a pain which like uh, living in poverty living in hardship that could motivate you as well so mm -hmm. what is your biggest motivation to be successful and so to strive in your life Okay, my motivation, uh, power, uh, the the one that drives me, is it? Yep. Um. Okay. Uh. Actually, I uh love to challenge myself, my dear. Ah. Okay. Uh, I love to challenge myself. So, for example, um, uh, if let's say, uh, I feel that I really want it, uh, to get it, so I will work hard, uh, for it. Uh, to be honest. Um, I really don't have uh, a dream that I want to have a big house, big car. Not really, uh -huh. my dear. Uh, uh -huh. I'm not not that kind of uh, uh -huh. people actually. And then I think uh -huh. now also. But then um, the one that drives me is, is like uh, uh, I'll, whether I want it or not. So uh -huh. uh, to to challenge myself, uh, for example. Okay, example. Eh? Uh, let's say okay when I join here as an assistant lecturer. Uh -huh. uh, so I found out that okay uh, to be stable in this career, you need to further study. Okay, uh, to uh -huh. further master level, for example. Yeah, uh -huh. uh, I continued masters. Okay, but then um I have to travel all the way to KL, come back KL, come back, and then the class is actually from nine o'clock in the morning until 9 uh, p.m., okay? So uh -huh. I like uh, challenge myself, like I say, I told myself, okay, how long um, you want to make it this journey? Um, like you, have, you want to make it until up, up to two to three years as mentioned in the course structure, or you want to uh, uh, suffer a little bit, okay? Um, but then you finish up earlier so you can uh, get back yourself soon, for example. So that that's the one that derived me uh, to finish up uh, my study earlier and then uh, achieve the the goal of my dear. So I uh. challenge myself. Some people might be dreaming like oh, I want to have uh, uh, balance cash. What do you call it? Uh, balance in uh, accounts? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Big balance in accounts, a big house, big car, for example. Uh. Okay. Uh, for me, uh, I love to challenge myself. If let's say I. Uh, never really tempted on certain things, for example, like uh, goals, uh, then uh -huh. I, I really not go for it. Uh, then I don't uh -huh. care like, if they say you got the big house on you, but not, not, not for me. Actually, yep, so mm. your motivation is more to challenging yourself, you want to yeah. explore more. All right, yeah, exactly. uh, uh -huh. thank you yeah. for sharing that. Uh, yeah, Mr. Yeah. Chai, how, mm -hmm. about, how about you? Uh, because personally, my motivation is my family, because I have a lot of people counting on me. They mm -hmm. will have to, you know, like, I have to get a degree, I have to get a good job, I have to do, do a business because a lot of cousins, my, my brother's sister are counting on me, so they are pushing me forward. So how about you? Okay, um, I think your motivation is right because um, which is you are thinking of your parents, right? So they mm -hmm. are counting on you and you need to be um, um, support them in, mm -hmm. in any way in terms of financially or maybe in terms of lifestyle or the living standard and so on. Mm -hmm. So for myself, um, yeah, definitely for all this commitment, um, I have it as well, especially in the age as myself. So um, I think I believe it's very normal for us to have this responsibility and commitment. But um, mm -hmm. if let's say it's look at the long term, how I actually drive myself to be go further and what actually mm -hmm. is my... Um, um, my end in the life is I uh -huh. will be always tell myself to be stay, stay curious. That means have to always try to see whatever things are out there. Because if let's say you always stay in your comfort zone, you never see what actually is a thing can be seen from outside, like mm -hmm. out of the box. So usually I'll be try to get try for any of the things. But I'm quite agree with what uh, Miss Muji is mentioned. Because she mentioned that she's not really the person M for um, big things, right? But uh, that is what she mentioned is in terms of materialistic. 
So, mm -hmm. but she's very rich on her um, spiritual. That means she wanted to some things which is can be aimed like rich in the mind. So she wants yeah. to be try a lot. You can be see always she went to travel a lot of the places like maybe uh, alone. So this is something which is yeah, she's amazing. Yeah. She's very brave. Oh my that. god, guys, come on. Yes, yeah, very brave. So so this is something actually um try to learn from her also. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mira, mira. Oh my god. I, I see there's one question from uh Andalin, right? Because I see from the chat box here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because Andalin asking whether uh whether it's okay to be straight away to be a lecturer instead of go to corporate work, work first. Yeah, you so can I think this one just now I uh answers ready. If let's say you ask my opinion, for myself I'll be uh really recommend uh you go to industry first, then only you come back. Yes, agree. Was the agree same with advice it. Told yeah. about different things. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. Uh, because I uh, recently, uh, I think last year is it? I asked Mister uh, Mister Tai if I can be a lecturer or what should I do. He advised me the same thing that I should go to corporate, mm -hmm. learn some experience, and then come back so that I can ex apply it to my students instead of going to be a lecturer blindly and I got nothing else to share. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah, because yeah, because yeah, yeah. a lot of the different people in the in the mm -hmm. corporate, and mm -hmm. that will be actually train your communication skill, and mm -hmm. how you're going mm -hmm. to handling um the the interaction from human to humans. So that's the things I believe is quite good in terms of the soft skill. Yeah, yeah it's ah. means shaping uh, your so, uh, soft skill, my dear. Because yes, you're going to yes. meet uh, corporate people. It's not like uh, people that you have seen in university, my dear. Okay. So when I worked mm. for the first time in the corporate mm. world, uh, I also see so many uh, things that uh, shape me what who I am right now. For example, the, the different type of personalities, uh, mm -hmm. the... the um challenges which is that we didn't learn in the uh what was school or university because when you say everybody is so nice so kind uh, but when you go to corporate world you will see the real people that no more uh, have yeah. the, the, huh? <laughs> no more people as nice as uh, you the, <laughs> i oh uh, i uh, yeah. i when i joined there uh, to be honest with you I always cry, my dear. That's why I was like it. Uh, because I, 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 people are very different wow. from what I viewed last time. Uh, okay. Uh, then uh, wow. uh, even when I want to resign, my manager said that uh, do better don't resign. Okay. She said that there are a lot of things that you need to learn. Uh, yeah. And uh, perhaps she want to shape me to be um, a, a manager for another new uh, branch that's going to open mm -hmm. there. Uh, but... Uh, that that's the things that I tell you, my dear. I'm not happy when I see the people um, that um, are different from uh, uh, um, uh, what we expect. Okay, but I learn a lot, lah. Uh, so I know, lah. Okay, people is not always that. Macam uh, how we see our friend, our lecturer, for example. No, my dear. So my advice also, uh, I'll back with what Mr. Tai said. Uh, go out. Okay, uh, learn whatever it things that you can. But then you remember, eh, you must care yourself. Uh, don't don't until jeopardize your you yourself, lah. Uh, you matter. In the end, you must remember you matter. Uh, no matter what. Yeah, mm, that's yes. still. They always start with you, right? So I hope mm. everybody who are, who are watching this can take note, just like what I do with taking notes. And yeah, um, yeah I was writing not everything that you said. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I needed those tips. Okay. So for all that's watching right now, it's a sharing session. It's not a formal one. It's a very informal. You can just unmute your mic and ask if you have questions. Be very, very um, comfortable. And we're going to end this session in a, in a while more. So we've got like one last question from our side before we're moving to the floor for the questions. So maybe Mr. Tai, we can ask you about students nowadays. You know, most students are feeling lost in their life. They are they're having problems in knowing their own weaknesses and strength. They don't even know themselves. Right. So, what is your advice for them? How can they know themselves better? What should they do? Mm, keep trying. I, I mean, yeah. if let's say you just sit at home and do nothing, definitely you know you, you never know what actually is your potential. So, to know what you you like and what you love is not going to be blindly follow others. You need to be try for the things first. So, what actually is a precondition? You go to try something new. You need to be ask yourself whether you like it or not. So if you like it, you just try to get a try. But after the try, you found it's not something your interest. You can just stop. So keep trying is the advice I want to give to everyone. That means yeah. you don't you don't settle. You need to be keep trying. And and mm. talk about this. I believe 
Can I share a movie uh, to everyone? Yeah, sure, this sure. Movie? I think I know the movie. <laughs> this, is my, this is my favorite movie. I think, you Me know, before you, is it? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I watched more than 10 times already. Wow. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> uh, Me, Me Before You. I, I think this is a very famous movie, right? So so just try to go to... It's not about share about the love story, but the love story is very amazing also. So wow. you can watch the novel, you can watch the movie, and you can you can try to um observing how is the dialogue and the conversations. It's not between the 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 uh men actors and actress only. It's between their family interaction and so on. There's uh. a lot of value that can be learned. So so can try to watch the uh movie. Then maybe they can find their value of life. I mean, yeah. For now, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can uh, later and I will share the movie link yeah to you guys okay. in our Instagram, and yep, uh, thank you, Mr. Tai. So the lesson is to keep trying, keep trying because everybody's born with something. Nobody's born at zero, right? Yep. Uh, because uh, recently I read a book about Nick Vujicic, a guy who doesn't have a oh. limb, he, he yeah, doesn't yeah. have arms and legs, but he's now a world famous speaker. So see, everybody has a gift. So to mm. keep trying, Miss Fuji, yes. how about you? Uh, I'm kind of agree with Mr. Tai also, whereby uh, you won't get to know uh, something if you let's say you never try. So uh, ask yourself, okay, uh, what you really want, what you really comfortable with, okay, and then you try to do it, okay. If let's say it start to uh, harm you, for example, like emotionally, or uh, you feel uh, something wrong, you're not comfortable with, it, then then stop, uh, for example. Okay, so you um, uh, uh, keep trying and then uh, read a lot, okay, um, like Mr. Tai, he watch movie for example, yes, the, if let's say you, uh, um, uh, my advice, uh, also same, uh, read a lot, um, watch movie, get to know more people uh, because these people is actually will share something to you, uh, okay, get a lot to know more people, they will might share experience for example, uh, okay. Uh, so don't don't be shy. Uh, try, especially at your age right now. Um, you can just uh try. Uh, you can don't yes. uh, mm. don't be sad that you will be fall. It's okay. It's time for you to fall, get back, and you win. Uh, so yes. get back to the thing, uh, my dear. Keep, mm. keep falling. Uh, yeah. Talking about talking about falling. Uh, welcome, Miss Maria. She just joined us. Uh, uh -huh. right now. <laughs> All right. Uh, talking about falling, yeah. Um, a lot of students, uh, they are very scared to fail. Like whenever they don't study, I scared, I fail, I scared, I fail. That that scariness actually stop them from being themselves at their full potential. All right. So, yeah. what is your advice for students to keep trying fall? What is the benefit of falling in your life? If let's say if you never fall, you don't don't know. Uh, how deep it will be and somehow at which age that you want to uh, feel the feel my dear so this is the right time that uh, you you learn uh, okay it's okay you learn new things you learn try a new things uh, because we don't know uh, we still learning it uh, don't don't say that uh, me and mr tai we never fail if you see I, how I can uh, reject my proposal PhD, oh my God, seriously. But then uh, this is, is actually uh, shaping people, shaping us. Uh. And then um, uh, one more thing I want to share also. This is from the uh, Bethany Buzzer. Eh? Uh, it is work on me uh, when I further my study currently. Uh, she said that uh, you don't only focus one thing. Okay, you don't focus only one thing. You try many things. So you energize your effort actually to many things, my dear. So let's say doesn't one thing doesn't work out. Well, never mind, we got other things to back you up. Uh, you you got one me. Ah, so this one. Kalau you focus only one thing, okay, because we are still learning. So katakan tiba tiba that things turn out to be uh fail or you fall. So you will have very huge impact on it. So my advice, you try banyak banyak. You try many things. You uh, energize the effort to many channels. Okay. Uh, so kalau this one fail, never mind. Uh, it's a, sm a small amount of effort only you put on it. Okay, you got other things to make you up. Uh, for example. Oh, all right. So Felix should be your best friend, everyone. Mm. Thank you, Miss Fuji, for the advice. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. All right. And any anybody from the Google uh, Meet has any questions to our guests? You can just ask your questions. If you're a student, you need advice. Just ask, no worries. Don't malu malu. Malu bertanya sesat jalan. Ah. Um. Darren is asking asking a question. Okay, what's the question? Okay, this is. I think I think his question is the dilemma happened 
on everyone of us. Happy with I mean, job, everyone but... be facing this situation, right? Um, it's a good pay job, but you are not happy with the job itself. Um, um advice. I think Fuji advice is mean like we cannot be give advice, right? It's only like our two cents. Um, um for myself, I will opinion, be, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, opinions. Yeah, yeah, opinions. Um, I will be always think. Um, is there any other option I can be change? I can be change my 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 life. Let's say, mm. if let's say I'm going for the job with the good pair, but I really have I really not not happy with it. For for myself, mm. I'll definitely quit from the job because mm. I'm I'm too focused and emphasize on my self happiness mm. than me See? others. So okay. so so these the things. Then I know that if the job is not really have the high pay, I'll be seek for the other option, which is try to um pick up my life and try to mm-hmm. make my life can be as what I want. Mm-hmm. So this is this is the uh, this is the opinion I can be share how actually I deal with this because definitely for this situation I believe mm-hmm. everyone in our age we have been faced before. And yeah, but, yeah. Then we have been given the option uh how you want to choose like one option one option two. Mm. Then you can be go for it, but for myself, financially satisfaction is something only can give you a very short term happiness. Mm. For myself, I agree uh, on that. Uh, you uh, can be you can be make yourself happy with many ways. I mean, uh, you cannot go travel to Europe. You can just go to Vietnam. I I I know I know Vietnam is bad. <laughs> I have no. <laughs> <you, you're> <laughs> I mean, you still can be happy with the with the way with the money you have in hand, right? Yeah. Then um maybe now you cannot go Europe, but after ten years you still can be go, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. After ten years. <laughs> Would you jump? Am I on my? Ah, that's right. Um, actually, I also want to top up. Uh, agree with yeah, Mr. Yeah. Kai. Okay, I just need a bit. Uh, point on my dear. Betul. Um, uh, as I said just now, happiness, my dear. Kalau macam like like my last time lah, I work in a corporate. Uh, international company. Memang salary all cantik. People see from the outside, kata wow. Okay. Uh, when when I decide that I want to resign, I want to go back to my university life. Not everybody agree with it. Uh, they they say, eh, come on, you why you want to leave your family, your loved one, um, there, and then you uh, come somewhere far here, and then yeah, because I also already know my career prospect, uh, in my uh, what do you call corporate work, but then not happy there, my dear. Okay, so um, uh, um, because the job um uh is a part of your life, and so if you do some things that uh, every day that which is you don't like, it will uh, affect you, my dear. You won't be you. Yeah, you won't be uh share the positivity. You're not happy. So what for? As a human being, uh, life is short. Okay, so we mm-hmm. enjoy it. Okay, so money not means that uh matter for everything. But I cannot simply say that. But some people it really matter for them, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. But when it start to jeopardize you, you have to think about it. Okay, so maybe uh you go if let's say you got the better options that can fulfill your value, your happiness, and everything. So you go for that. So money maybe you can find in other way. For example, like uh you took up uh maybe you learn new skills you do part-time job skill for example uh, okay so you don't go for some things that uh, hurt you my dear in future okay uh, miss just want to share you eh uh, among uh, uh, teenagers uh-huh. age uh, 15 to 29 okay uh, the suicide rate quite high okay one of the reason is because they feel depressed why are depressed because the value and whatever they do is not steady uh, not steady right not matching uh, so this is one of the cause lah. Uh, even surprisingly in Malaysia, uh, according to uh, Datuk Sri Ramtai, uh, he's um, a social activist. He just mentioned that uh, uh, mental uh, health among Malaysians is getting um, scary. Okay, scarier lah, time to time. Kalau we never cure this, okay, uh, between uh, in few years. Uh, it will go for pop uh, uh, sickness uh, in Malaysia. So um, you have to, uh, yeah, that uh, I think somebody agree with yeah. me. Adeline, is it? Adeline, uh, yeah. Yeah, depression is a silent killer. Betul? Uh, so my dear, kalau let's say lah, it's uh, eating you, uh, so you better stop. Never mind. I better stop. Uh, yes. Try to figure out other ways. Mm. Yeah? Agree, agree. Mm. Time is more important. 
Personally, yeah, yeah. I'm a person who also suffered depression in the past, and yeah. I tried to commit suicide. Actually, I I did, but I did it really? because I had the right friends to to be my friend. They are there to support mm. me, help me so very strong. So for those yeah, who are feeling it, if you have stress, you're depressed, and light can be your friend. You can just text mm. us, join our chit chat, and just talk yes. to us any problems you have. Nothing is too personal to be shared, guys. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so just, exactly. You need to have the support system uh, for you. Yeah, the support uh, for system. Yes. yes. Whenever, uh, for my experience also, eh, whenever I'm down, uh, okay, people around me, they can feel it because we, I am not me. Uh, so that's the moment that we share. Uh, okay, then I usually will get a virtual slap laugh from Mr. Tai. Then I will wake up. Okay, I have to come back <laughs> to my uh, value, for example. So that's the 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 what you call the values. Okay, like we have uh, friends like uh, Miss Maria, for example. So yes, we need this support system to support us because that's yeah, right. we are human beings. We dealing with so many things, right? Uh, so you uh, thank God. Okay, in uh, here for time being, we have uh, and like uh, to enlighten you guys uh, to share. Uh, yeah. Okay, and so you have to take this opportunity. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I take an uh, opportunity. We have counselor. Okay, if you feel sh shy to share this, maybe you can share with somebody that uh, mm. you're comfortable with, uh, for example. You need to, to you have need to talk to somebody. Um, yeah. Yes. Because yes, um, yes. nobody can be living alone, you know? I, I mean, you need to be, you need to be have your own circle mm. and you need to have the people to talk to. Mm. Then that's not possible to be, you are just being alone. You can be handling everything. Because yeah. the mental health is there, you need to be taking mm. of it also. Yeah. So, so try to find your uh, own way, and also the person you can be talk to. Mm -hmm. mm. I agree because be his friend, um, mm. their wife, their husbands, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. couples, and so on. Yeah. Mm. When you talk to somebody. Usually, mm, yeah. I get my wake up call from Mr. Vincent, the wake up slap. You know. Ah. Uh, uh, slap? Is it? <laughs> yeah, I uh, like uh, last semester. I was having a difficult time uh, during college because my dad was in hospital, had an accident. So mm. I had to skip my class for a few weeks, and then without mm. realizing, I was skipping it for like ten weeks already. You know, because mm. I was so busy going to the hospital and come back, and I got back for subjects. Mm. And I got to Mr. Vincent's room. I complained to him, blah blah blah. He gave me advices, and I made a comeback, and I still took the final exam. So mm. it's not hard to talk to. If yeah, give giving up in our life, you know. Yeah, 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 sure, no, yeah. Just but, thing, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You all can add anything you want, feel free. No worries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why I, I agree also that we need to have, to have support system. But sometimes people not really uh, don't know where to share, to whom they need to share. Uh, so this is one of the good channels, uh, for example, like Enlight uh, or Consider. Or uh, it could be anybody that you easy to approach. We are here to help, no problem. Okay, uh, you can share. Usually people, they want their feeling to be shared. That's all they need to be. So, uh, yeah, we, we are more to mm -hmm. willing to help, actually. Yes, okay? mm. agree. Yeah. So that's why mm -hmm. in Enlight, we have counsellors in our channel. So mm. because we find that most students, they mm. think of counsellors as a bad example, where you only meet counsellors if you have serious problems. Like oh, going to classes, yeah. that's the mm -hmm. impression. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we're just telling students that counsellors are not there just to correct you if you're wrong. They're also there yeah. to guide you if you're right. Mm -hmm. Yep. So if you're having any problem, depression, just come to us. We will direct you to a counsellor or else we can talk to mm -hmm. you ourselves. We can share our problems and just be happy. Mm -hmm. Like Mr. Wuji smiling always, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my dear, but you imagine eh, during my time, last time, uh, I uh, very hardly to smile uh, wow. because of the, the stress, the burnouts and everything. So that's why I put it on uh, full stop there. Okay, I'm not going to go back to that no matter what. It's so rewarding on it, but I just want to uh, be myself. Okay, I want to get back my uh, energy uh, so that I can share this one to everybody. Uh, Actually, that I want to... Tell a simple thing that uh, these mm -hmm. lecturers that I know who I'm very close to, like Miss Wuji, Mr. Tai, and a lot of them, um, the one thing that I like about them is whenever I'm having a bad day in college and then I, I, I look at them, you know, while walking and they smile, they say good morning, it makes me feel better mm -hmm. in some way. So it does. So mm -hmm. being nice to someone, smiling to somebody, it does make someone's life better. Mm -hmm. So yeah. spread love, everybody. Spread the love. Yes, exactly, my dear. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you need to love yourself first. Then only you can spread the love. If, let's say, you yeah. keep in uh, all the negativity, the burnout, you, uh, trust me, you don't want to see people. Uh, 
So that is the importance that you have to channel it out. You love yourself more, then you can enlighten people around you. Uh, yes. Yes. We, we did use the right word for this organization. Ah, I say enlighten people <laughs> around you. Okay. Okay. Tag me with this motto. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I've written down uh, a few quotes about what our speakers have said, and thank you so much for both speakers for being with us today and lighting everybody, okay. sharing experience. We do appreciate your effort, and it's very sad we can't see you face to face for any sessions. Mm -hmm but hopefully yes. soon, maybe next year. And um, anybody else would like to ask any questions? So we end the session for today. Now it's informal. You all can stay. You want to leave, you can leave. Yeah, because we're going to talk until, until night, you know, like me and the boys. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah, we're done. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you so much. Okay, thank Always you. Have, okay, love you guys. Love you all. Yeah. Take care, okay? Right. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Adeline. Yeah, Miss Maria, 